Well, Donald Trump has joked about being a dictator if he returns to the White House at a town hall in Iowa. The former president and leading candidate for the Republican presidential nomination took part in the televised event on Fox News. Sky News Washington correspondent Annalise Nielsen has been watching along. Annalise, what else did Donald Trump have to say? Well, he managed to fit in a fair bit into this one hour presentation on Fox News. It was live out of Iowa. And of course, that's where we'll see the caucuses in just six weeks time, which is the first official race for anyone who wants to be the Republican candidate for president of the United States. And one of the questions that's being lobbed at Donald Trump lately is, will he be a dictator if he comes back to power? Now, one of the ways he's egged this along is there was a Washington Post editorial which he promoted on his Truth Social platform, which argued that he would indeed become a dictator if he were to be given another term at the White House. There's been questions around some of his language and appearances where he's talked about being his followers retribution for those who've wronged him and wronged America. So it's quite evocative language. It was asked by the host Sean Hannity about whether he really would be a dictator or whether he, this was all just a bit of bluster. And this is what the former president had to say. Under no circumstances, you are promising America tonight. You would never abuse power as retribution against anybody. Except for day one. Except Look, for? He's going crazy. Except for day one. Meaning? I want to close the border and I want to drill. That's drill, not a that's, drill. That's not, oh, no. that's not retribution. I got I'm going to be, I'm going to be, you know, he keeps, <laughs> we love this guy. He says, You're not going to be a dictator, are you? I said, No, 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 other than day one. We're closing the border and we're drilling, drilling, drilling. After that, I'm not a dictator, so that, okay? That So probably wasn't the definitive answer that some people would have been hoping for out of that. But uh, he did talk about a few other issues as well, especially his potential running mate, Joe Biden. Now, Joe Biden has said he is running again. There is no real contest for the Democrats. They're treating him as the candidate. But the questions have been mounting around whether he can, at his age, really go for another run at the White House. There's been polls after polls that show that voters are very concerned about Joe Biden's age and whether he's up for another term in the White House. This is what Donald Trump said to that question. I think he's in bad shape physically. Do you remember when he said, I'd like to take him behind the barn? If he took me behind the barn and I went like this, <laughs> I believe he'd fall over. I believe he'd fall off. And who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But, but it was okay. And by the way, it was okay for him to say that. He said, I'd like to take him behind the... He could say that, and everyone thought it was so cute. If I ever said it, they'd say, he's a dictator. He's a horrible human being. You know, it's a whole double standard we have, and not only in the law, but just about everything else, as you know very well. Um, I personally don't think he makes it physically. I watched him at the beach. He wasn't able to lift a beach chair, which is meant for children to lift. You can lift him like that. Uh, and mentally, I would say he's possibly equally as bad and maybe worse. Annalise, this week, Joe Biden told a fundraiser he probably wouldn't be running again if Donald Trump was running again, wasn't running again. And uh, that news has broken over the last few hours. And I think Joe Biden may have even repeated those comments when he got off his chopper. But what was Donald Trump's response to that? Yeah, look, Joe Biden's been saying this. This has been a big pitch for him where he's saying Donald Trump's running again. He's the leading candidate to be the Republican nominee. And I'm the only one that can beat him. I've proven it. And so you have to pick me as your candidate because I'm the only one that can do it again. Now, 2020 is very different to 2024. And that's a big concern for a number of real senior Democrats as well in this conversation. But what we saw when uh, Donald Trump was asked about it is he went straight for Nikki Haley. And this is a really interesting way to frame it because the chances are that it won't be Joe Biden. There's still a month between the Republican convention when they confirm their candidate and then the Democrat one. So the Democrats have more time to manoeuvre something at the last minute. And we are dealing with so many unprecedented issues in this uh, campaign. It's quite likely that something like that would happen because why make a decision now when you could kick it down the road? So this is where it's all become very fractured. But it was really interesting. This was the first question asked of Donald Trump at this town hall, and this was his response. I think somebody gave him a talking point. They thought that would sound good. 
You know, I just found out that Democrats are funding Nikki Haley's campaign. I hear that Democrats are contributing to Ron DeSanctis's or Ron DeSanctimonious to Ron DeSanctis's campaign. And then you hear the talking points. That's the only thing they're good at, cheating on elections and great talking points. They say, we want to run against Trump. They want to run. Well, we did really well in 2016, and we did so much better in 2020. The person they don't want to run against is us. It's us. It's not me. It's us. So, Andrew, look, let's look at the polling here, because this is what Biden and Trump are both worried about. These are figures that were done by The New York Times uh, last uh, just a few weeks ago, and it was specifically swing states, that these are the states that actually decide who's going to be the president of the United States. And so if it was a theoretical Biden-DeSantis matchup, DeSantis comes ahead. And if it's a theoretical Biden-Haley matchup, it's an even bigger margin for Haley beating Joe Biden. When we're talking about a theoretical matchup or a rematch of Biden and Trump, the numbers aren't great for either of them. So that's where these both these candidates are wanting to rerun the last election because that's where they won. But the circumstances are very different and the polling shows that, especially in these swing states. And so that's where I think that framing with that question came from. And it's going to be a very interesting uh, caucus and primary season to see who actually shakes out. Very interesting, Annalise. If Donald Trump runs, there's a lift in the Republican vote, one for the Democrats as well. And certainly it's a good vote for turnout. Thanks.